Alright, what's up all my dragon things? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back, welcome to another, you know, nostalgia run, as you could say. Um, last time, I did, I showed off my, uh, Chip 2 collection of Pokemon cards, which are my babies here. But this time, I'm gonna be showing off my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. And these are substantial as well. <laughs> now, as I said, um, I played not only for the Pokemon Championships in 2007, but I also played in the, originally it was called Duelist Kingdom. And I went very far in the Duelist Kingdom tournaments. And that was way long ago, I think back in 2005 to 2008, I believe, I actually was in the tournaments. And I stopped a long time ago. Hey, <laughs> So... Note that I, I don't know the rules for much anymore. I know the Shadow Realm rules. And I know the Duelist Kingdom Championships or, um, what's it called? Uh, Battle City. I know the Battle City tournaments as well. Which I had personally taken part in as well. That I took part in. Duelist Kingdom, Battle City. I took all, uh, I took part in a lot of things. But, right now, you guys want to see my deck. So, I'm going to be saving these for last. These, oh, these are the cards that I, I strive for. So, let's start off with some of my good cards. And as I said, my two main cards here, as you can see, they're in plastic. Because good, for good reason, these are very good cards. And I would like to keep a lot of my good cards in, you know, perfect condition. Like, Dark Magician right here. He's in good condition, but he isn't, but that's because I've used him for so long. I've actually used him while I was in Duelist Kingdom, so I'm very happy. Oh my god, why is there a fly here? Oh god. But, Blue Eyes White Dragon, one of my favorite cards of all time from Kaiba's deck. And I had, I had, I had three, I had three of them, also a polymerization, which is still in my deck, and, um, I had... Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but I had lost him when on my move, so shit. And also, a, um, I had the original Dark Magician, but I don't have him no more, I don't know where it went. But I'm going to be also ordering a new Dark Magician card, because Dark Magician was part of my deck, and I really want him back, so, yeah. Ugh, uh, fuck's sake. Now, this is a fake card. Now I, now, I got scammed on this card a long time ago, and I still kept them because it's the Black Lutzer Soldier, but it's called the Curioso Fighter. So this is a fake card. I, it, it's, these are banned from per personal use in card games. You can't use these, nor do I. I don't promote using these. I had this in my deck, and I uh, I immediately just took it out. I don't want to play with those cards. But I had them, so yeah. I got, also got Mystic Swordsman level 5, or well, level 4, sorry. But level 1s, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, I got level 4 here. So, 1900 attack, 1600 defense. Pretty good card, depending on how you use them. Oh, God. Killed him. Aha! Also, as I said, polymerization. If you ever need a good card, this is it. This is the card to use. <laughs> if you want to fuse your cards, learn how to use polymerization. Best card you can get. <laughs> I love polymerization because polymerization was a card where you can fuse two cards together if you have the extra card like Dire the Fierce Knight and, uh, fuck. Uh, Jesus, I forgot, I got the other one, I got the name of the dragon, but you can combine them together and Gaia, the, uh, fierce dragon. I also got the ancient gear, Gauldron dragon, which I have, I obtained about four years ago. <laughs> this is a, uh, new, new card, I'm guessing. So, this is a really cool card. <laughs> also got... The Sapphire Dragon, which obviously 
he was very personally used. You could tell all the uh, scratches, the cards, and he went through a lot of shit for the past couple years. <laughs> and then <laughs> one of my favorites, Sword Stalker. Sword Stalker is a really cool card once you get to know and how to use him. He's a really good card. Um, like um, Alligator Soldier and um, the Black Panther Soldier, the Black Panther Warrior. They're really good cards. But Sword Stalker. Sword Stalker. Once you learn how to use this card, he's good in battle. Oh. Also, if you talk about really good cards, <laughs> Monster Reborn. This card saved my ass in Duel's Kingdom. Because <laughs> I was in um, what, the quarterfinals of the Duel's Kingdom tournament, and I had almost gotten my hands to get into the finals. And... This saved my ass because someone took out my blue eyes. I ran him back, bitch. <laughs> now this is actually a fairly new card. I think this is from um, what's it called? This is like a number card, so I think it's from um, not arc. I think arc five. And I had um, what's it called? I had acquired a lot of these, so I put them in my deck. So Ice Princess Zerafort, as it's called. Pretty good card. Pretty good card to use if you don't, if you don't know what you're doing. Ah, uh, seen better days, but Ox Dragonu is a really good card as well. Pretty good card. Um, this is a, a effect monster. Yeah, you're gonna have to special summon this card. But also, if you guys ever watched the original series, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little messed up. I just ripped away from me, and it ripped my card, so I'm a little bit upset, but it's still in use. You can still see the attack, you can still see the defense attack, 1,500, and defense 1,200, so that's actually a good card. Now, obviously, um, you can't have a deck without any elemental heroes, so we got elemental hero flame wingman, and elemental hero shining flare wingman as well, so these are, um... Yeah, these are fusion monsters, so you have to uh, be able to have two cards. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good for what you're using it for. Sorry. Alright, um... Brain Control. This is a card where you just... You slap that down, and oh my god, you got paid 800 life points for it. So, if you have the... If, you, if you're trying to play Risky, Brain Control is something you want to use. And I can uh, use it to effectively take one face of monster. So you play your best monster. I have enough life points. I could take that monster from you. <laughs> Ancient Gear Gauntlet, which is actually a really good card as well. Depending on you know how you're using it, 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. So it's actually a really cool card. This card can't be. This card can't be special summon either. So watch what you're doing. I have a lot of cards here that I have never really used. So, like this card, Magicalized Dustin Mop. So, any of you that know how to use this card, tell me what you guys think. Ah, <laughs> uh, a good card. Gear for the Iron Knight. Really good card. Uh, this I think this is from uh, Joey's deck. And good card when you want to use it. So, pretty good card, depending on how you're using him. How you use him in battle is all up to you, but again, eh, you don't want to sacrifice him too, too often. <laughs> I still got a couple of these cards, like uh, these number cards, like Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon. I don't know what this is about, because <laughs> I've never used these cards, and I've never used the black cards before. Warrior Day Griffo. He comes in clutch. He always comes in clutch. Depending on, like, what battle you're in, or what kind of, you know, tactics that your opponent's using. He comes in handy. <laughs> so you always want to keep him around. You'll be lucky if you, um, you draw and you get him. So, I was always happy. Huh, Mind Wipe. <laughs> Mind Wipe is a pretty good card. Let's see. You can only activate this card if your opponent has three or less cards in his or her hand, which is not always. Um, the opponent adds his or her hand to the deck and shuffles it. 
Yeah, so basically, this is just a uh, memory of what was. If your opponent is trying something, please use my wipe. <laughs> White Dragon Wyvern Buster. This is actually a really cool card that I had acquired a long time ago. And I still use them. It's an effect dragon, but still effective. <laughs> Let's see. I want to see if I can find some cards that you guys will know. Like Backup Soldier. You guys know what Backup Soldier is? Go, go look up on the internet what Backup Soldier actually does. Dragon Eric Attack. Obviously, I'm a dragon, so I'm going to have a lot of dragon cards. Dragon Eric Attack is basically uh, turning one a warrior type monster into like a dragon type. And, <laughs> again, know your typing, and it works. Reinforcements. A very old card as well. Oh, God. <laughs> Increase select the monster to attack by 500. Again, works. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was looking for him, too. Obviously, if you're, a, if you're a player and you really and you get hit a lot, scapegoat! Is a card that you want in your hand. <laughs> I think I acquired this during Battle City. <laughs> I acquired this during Battle City. I had bought this card specifically for that because you can use four of these, four scapegoats. If your opponent attacks and they're attacking a monster that you definitely need in battle, you can use four of these, four scapegoats before this card is destroyed. And what it does is it protects your monster. So instead of your opponent attacking your card, it attacks a scapegoat. So again, this shit comes in handy. <laughs> handy, real handy. And if we're talking about old cards, everyone knows who Beaver Warrior is. <laughs> I love Beaver Warrior. Oh man. Alright, I'm not gonna um, go through all of them. But again, Graceful Charity. Graceful Charity card. So what I do? Discard, discard two cards. Draw three. That's the that's the point of Graceful Charity. You got to want to try to draw something really good. Okay, let's see. Wow, I have a lot of cards and I have a lot of things I need to get through. So I'm not gonna take up all you guys' time. Um, Dragon Shield would do really well in this type of thing. Ah, uh, huh. Now, the, the sad thing, the sad existence is, I used to have these cards. All of them. Everyone knows who he is. <laughs> you, if you don't know, this is the head of Exodia, the Forbidden One. You have all five pieces, the left arm, the right arm, the left leg, and the right leg, and the head. You have some of the most, you have one of the most dangerous fucking part people in the fucking game. You have him, this is an automatic win. There is no win, there's no, there's no losing if you have Exodia. I used to have all five pieces. And I lost my five pieces, unfortunately. In the move, I lost five pieces. If you guys go to Massachusetts and you find one of these, one of my left, my, my legs, or my arms, that's mine. <laughs> so, take it for what it's worth, but they're out there. <laughs> I want to get back my, uh, my list. I'm going to be getting them back. And I'm destroying everybody who, uh, who comes in my way. Beware of Exodia. Ah. <laughs> uh, Wing Dragon Guardian the Fortress number one. Everyone that has, that watched Generation 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! knows what this card is. It's a very good card. Depending on how you use it, um, 1,400 attack and defense 1,200, it comes in clutch. Really comes in clutch. I want to see if I can find, like, any old cards that I used to use all the time. Um, <laughs> wow. Going through my list of cards, again, it, this is, like, so real. I haven't gone through these cards in ages. Oh, wow. <laughs> Off the clocks. Remember in the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie where, um, Kaiba sacrificed Off the clocks to, um, power up Oblix the Tormentor? And, oh, don't worry. We'll get to that. <laughs>
The Rebel Guardian always helps. Pot of Greed! Pot of Greed is a really good card. Good use. <laughs> I got good mileage out of this card. Draw three cards, try two cards from your deck. Actually, yeah, pretty good card. Mm -hmm. Ah, and who would be a good Yu Gi Oh card to play without Swords of Reveal and the like? So the villain like basically speaking, all face down card all face down monsters has to be faced up for the next couple turns. And that helps you indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Uh well that's mostly mostly it. That's uh, it for anything in my deck. <laughs> that's it for the deck. But we're not done just yet. <laughs> uh you guys can see who he is. Exodius is the ultimate forbidden lord. Basically, this is an off brand uh, Exodia the Forbidden One, which is this is like Shadow Exodia that I had quite a long time ago and still in perfect condition. I haven't taken it out the plastic casing. I refuse to take it out the plastic casing. <laughs> but you guys talking about real evil cards? Let's talk about something like this. <laughs> That's right, guys. Damien has the Oblix Tormentor. Very good card. 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Good card to use. Okay. I'm hesitant. Also, you can see that Wing Dragon of Ra. The original card. It's yeah, the original form. Obviously, um, how many cards that is like sacrificed to summon this? is equal to its uh, attack and defense, so, know what you're doing with this card, know what you're doing with this card. And last but not least, my favorite. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon. <laughs> oh man. I did a lot to acquire this card. I did a lot to acquire it. Uh, it's my it's my shining joy. I have never took it out of its plastic. Ever. These cards are worth a lot. And people will do head will pay head over freaking heels for these cards. So yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I acquired a semblance deck. That only only a uh, several amount of people can dream to have. All three, all three of these cards are amazing. The Egyptian God cards. I'm also gonna be get, trying to get Ravil the um. Ravil on uh, Yoria and uh, what was that um. Ramon, I believe it is. Uh, I don't know what the last card is, but I'm trying to get it. I'm gonna be getting the Lord, the Lords too. Along with the Egyptian guy cards, so these are my babies. Anytime you see my anything facing my TV, like if something from my bed to my TV, you guys see this. You guys see these because these are hung up on my TV. Because these I watch after. They're not in my bin. They wa I watch after them. So these are my babies. <laughs> I also had an ancient new card somewhere, but shit. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's my collection, my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon collection is done. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope you guys got some nostalgia out of the cards. Because these are my babies. I went through a long time with these cards. I've acquired them over a vast amount of time. I played and dueled a lot of people to get to where I am today. So, wow. <laughs> Obviously, as I said, I played in the Pokemon World Championships. I played in Duelist Kingdom and Battle City, so I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these card games, and I know these strategies. Strategy is kind of, is kind of my thing, I know what I'm doing when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon card games. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know, I would be happy to answer your questions. So, very much so, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed my collection, <laughs> So, anyway guys, thank you everyone so much for watching the video, and if you guys like it, please smack that like button and show who's boss, and share and subscribe for the Glory of the Dragon, so you too, know the Kimomoto, but from Damien to YouTube, and to video games all the world, I will see you Dragonlings, 
in the very next episode. Peace, my friends. Good gaming, happy hunting. I'll see all you janglings back in the shadow realm. Peace, my friends.